Welcome to another episode of Super Fast Corner. I'm your host, Kevin Mueller, and today we're gonna go through a pro build of the MC3 WLS Magnetic Shock. Let's go in for a closer look. So, some of the things that you're gonna need in order to build uh, the Magnetic Shock are a 1,000 grit sandpaper, 2,000 grit sandpaper, paper towel, some car wax, a Dremel, and maybe pliers and an X-Acto knife. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the magnetic shaft here. And what we wanna do is make sure that that is super smooth. So uh, even though we've tried already at the factory here to make it as smooth as possible, of course, we can always take it one step further, just like you do with all of, of your other Kyosho products. So here we're gonna go, um, and smooth the shaft. So you wanna take your 1000 grit sandpaper, put it into a Dremel here, start it spinning, and then just go back and forth like this with your 1000 grit sandpaper. It could take some time. And then once you're done with your 1000 grit sandpaper, you can go on to your 2000 grit sandpaper And then from there, you can take your polish, put it onto a napkin, and then simply polish the shaft. Now this is just ordinary car wax that you can use. Any polish would work. The good thing is that it'll make it super smooth, but it won't attract too much dust. And there you go. At the end here, you can just clean it off and you should feel no bumps or any grit in the uh, shaft whatsoever. Okay, now that you have your shaft prepared, then we can go on to the shock body. So the shock body, obviously it may have some imperfections in it. Um, you wanna take any burrs that remain from the manufacturing process out of uh, the holes here on either side, as well as inside using an X-Acto knife, you can get off any tiny little burrs that you might see on the shock body. And then from there, it's pretty much just the assembly process. Once you've done those two things, uh, everything should slide and work really well. So obviously, you know, the shaft, you shouldn't have any friction, but uh, the main test is when we put the magnet in, magnet in to the shock body. So um, you might, you have to, this should be a press fit, but if uh, you find that your magnet's coming loose, you might wanna put a dab of CA glue on the magnet and then push it into the nut here, the adjustment nut. Um, so a little tech tip here or tuning tip. Um, obviously you never want to have the um, nut scraping against the shaft because that'll put scratches into the shaft. So you wanna make sure that uh, you never have the nut fully closed. But a good setting is to gently allow the nut to touch the shaft. So as you can see, I can't move the shaft right now. And then just do about a half turn to three quarters of a turn out. And that should give you the dampening uh, that you need. And of course you can test that without the spring on. Okay, and then from there, um, if you don't have pliers and you don't wanna, you know, ruin your shaft by using pliers. You can simply screw on the preload adjustment nut all the way. And then from there, you can hold that pre-adjustment nut and you can screw in the ball socket. That way you don't need to use pliers on the shaft and get the shaft uh, scratched up in any kind of way. Okay, uh, next step, simply put on the ride height or preload uh, uh, adjustment nut. And if you're finding, and I've done this before too, if this is a little bit loose or uh, you know, think it's gonna be moving while you're racing, you can always put some Teflon tape around the thread to make it a little bit of a tighter fit. Okay, then we can put our spring on, put our shaft through, add on the spring retaining washer, 
And then last but not least, the rebrown spring or the droop spring and the droop screw. And there you have it. Uh, the MC3 SS magnetic shock should be uh, very smooth. And if you find that there's any grit feeling, it feels any gritty, then you just have to go back and do the Dremel process, resand the shaft. Uh, and it's a good idea every once in a while just to take the shaft out of the shock body, clean it, maybe add some new wax to it um, while you're running. Okay, and then it should just be once you have your car set up here and you have the correct um, ball studs put onto your car, it should just be a simple snap fit onto your car. Okay, just adjust it to your ride height and to your preferred ride height settings and preferred droop settings and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching another episode of Superfast Corner. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.